I love you. You're great. I don't know. I'm like scared what's going on. <laughs> I don't remember. You have plagiarized me and I am deeply offended. I'm deeply offended, Riley, and we have the clips. We're pulling are the we clips put up. Them up. We are we th- we are putting Riley on blast. You guys are putting me on the spot. Okay. okay. Oh, um, no! oh she got the mic and everything. Oh, no! Would you be okay with your long-term monogamous partner going to a bar, club, party-like type environment where he's going to be approached, flirted with, and sexually pursued by numerous attractive women, (laughs) some of which are more attractive than you and could potentially be a better partner than you. They'll be buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically trying to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. You're telling me that you would be okay with that? It's a deal breaker. I I totally agree. Why why is that a deal breaker? Is it because it makes you insecure? It has nothing to do with insecurity. It's what just, is it? This is a dream world hypothetical scenario. Oh. Girls really don't be hitting up guys like this. Would you be okay with your long-term monogamous partner going to a nightclub, bar, or party type environment where throughout the course of the night, he's going to get approached, flirted with, and sexually pursued by Sounds kind of familiar. for a way. And could potentially be a better partner than you. And these women are buying him drinks, getting him drunk, and enthusiastically want to sleep with him that night and steal him away from you. You're going to tell me you'd be okay with that. No, no, no. Expose. Oh. So you can see how this can be a little contradictory. Okay, you can. You would be okay with it, right? Next, next one, though. Oh, we got more. We oh, got more. Word Don't for worry, word. it's almost done. Oh, it's word almost... for oh, word. Go full, sc- full screen, like, full screen. I think men are the coolest, but I don't need them to survive. What do you mean you don't need men to survive? Everything around you was built, created, and maintained by men. Everything. The infrastructure in this country, in every single country in the world, it was all created by good, hardworking, honest men that just want to provide for their families. These men built the world and made it so comfortable to the point where women think they don't even need need a man na, and na, trust me up mine, you do up oh Riley. whoa i love men like i think men are the coolest but i don't need them to survive you do actually need men to survive and here's why everything that you see around you was built and created and maintained by men okay. everything the infrastructure in this country in every single country in the world <laughs> is built Created Did and you maintained like to by yeah. good, <laughs> honest, hardworking men that just Walled want to provide for their family. Everything, the roads you drive on, the buildings you live in. I love men. Uh, like positive. good, honest men. Shameless. 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 Hold on, there's one more. There's one more. Oh, oh my God. God. I, oh, I, I want... I I want hold on, pause it, pause it. I want... The twenty dollars of TikTok ad revenue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hold up. Daddy Pause. donated one one hundred dollars. Brian, she didn't copy you. She has tits. <laughs> Guys, that is true. My videos are different because the boobs are the focus. Actually, if you go to the comments, all that anyone talks about is how red they are. Your Whoa. titties? Yeah. They talk about your. They talk about my titties. <laughs> they talk about how red they are. Can titties blush? I guess so, apparently. I, I mean, I think that. it's from like the implants, like oh low my key, god. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, shameless. <laughs> shameless. I'm not, I'm really not that I'm not, I don't care. I, don't, I, it was it's just, I, thought, really, yeah. it's, I thought it was funny. It's, but. it's great content, and I honestly started posting TikToks <laughs> not too long ago, and I honestly didn't realize it was a, a, a shamed upon thing. Um, oh, it is. Uh, I think there's a word for it. Is I think it is plagiarism. plagiarism. Right. You are shameless, right. my my dear. But it, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> look, last one, last okay. one. Let's do. The, I think there's one more. Oh, no. oh. You could bring some big energy. You don't have to have a big. Oh, that's big energy. That just like I feel like that's just a way of saying like he's a cool guy. Have you used small energy? Probably, probably. Just to describe what. An asshole, a okay. douchebag. Who here is for body positivity? Yes. Yeah. Who isn't? For body positivity. I hope you are. Yes. How can you simultaneously say that you're for body positivity, but then also use these terms? Because it's not actually about their body. How did the girls on this podcast not see the hypocrisy here? I mean, if the tables were turned and a guy told you that you had loose pussy energy, women would be outraged. Big dick energy? What about cavernous vag energy? Roast beef or fish fillet energy? There would be riots in the street. 
Oh. How can you simultaneously say that you're for body positivity, but then also use these terms? Because it's not actually about their body. Of the reverse? Like, Y'all would lose your sh if, if we were talking about loose p energy, <laughs> caver <laughs> cavernous <that> energy, <laughs> small p energy. <laughs> like, y'all would lose your minds if, as we're using these terms the same way that Sounds women familiar. Use it does the sound a little weird. <laughs> You're wearing the just, same just, outfit. Yeah, I know. I'm, That's fine. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I I'm know. plagiarizing yeah. myself. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, Riley, you are shameless. Riley. Uh, yes. You're making me bust out my Canadian uh, <laughs> accent here. You are shameless, yes. Riley. Yeah. Never yeah. meet your idols. Right? <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't, I, I, it's not a big deal, but I thought that was funny, so. It is, it is funny. And I really put you on the spot. You did, you, I, I was you not spot. expecting Exposed. that. I was not expecting that, so. Exposed. You did, to be fair, you changed a little bit in that last one, yeah, so you, know, you the improvised. the last sentence, like, there was a little, there was a little change there, you know? Yeah. I think it goes to show that she just likes what you gotta say.